Hi guys and welcome to another Divi 4 tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we're using the Divi Supreme Modules plugin here and today we're going to make these great cards with it with the Supreme Modules Cards plugin. They got a nice little badge and a call to action button and you can use them for plenty of different things. Today I'm just using one that I'm going to link to a product but you can use yours to link to just about anything you want to link to. And they're a great little feature to have on your site. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder to let us build on the front end here. I'm using the awesome Divi theme from Elegant Themes. If you want to take it for a test run you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. Okay, so we've got a row here. Let's just add a module below this row. So I'm going to hit the little dark button there, add a module. And the light gray ones are all the modules that are included with the Divi theme. The purple ones here are Divi Supreme modules, which is what we'll be using today. And I don't know if I mentioned, you can download this from my affiliate link below this video here. So let's use a Supreme card. I'm going to just left click on it. And as you can see, it's opened up below. Um, the first thing that pops up is title right here. Let's put our title in. And I'm using the subtitle as just a price. And I'm going to leave the default text in there because I really haven't got anything to say about this. Let's put our image in. Right here, just click on it, select your image. I'll grab one of the laptops that I haven't grabbed before. Okay, and you can change the height of the actual image. At the moment it's 240 pics. You can make it smaller, bigger. 240 is going to work absolutely fine for me. You can either slide the slider, type in the value, or you can use these little arrows for fine tuning up and down. Okay, let's roll on down a bit further. Link, where do we want it to link to? Well, I link to a product, so I guess I'll do that again. And if we go up to a module link with a Divi theme, you can use a dynamic product or you can just put a URL in there to wherever you want to link to. I'm going to use the dynamic content. I want it to link to a product. It'll give me my product list here. And my laptops are on the second page. Or like I say, you can just navigate to whatever, wherever it is you want and paste the URL into the link box here. I want it to open in the same window. Button, let's have that say buy now. I'm not going to put a URL in there because it'll automatically go to our product that I chose for the link address above. But if you wanted to, you could put any URL in there you wanted. Background, let's give it a bit of a background color. I gave the last ones a sort of light gray. I'm just going on the color, left clicking on it, taking it up to where I want it. Okay, content wise, that's pretty much it. Let's go on to the design tab, image want to round the corners because I'll do that with the whole card. I will give it a little bit of a box shadow though. It's got a bit of a shadow underneath there now. Let's go on down the badge and let's give that a let's make this one a yellow one I suppose. And we'll make the text white like we did with the writing on top. You can change the padding so you actually change the shape of this thing but I'm going to leave mine just like that. Text itself, let's make that white. Actually, that doesn't stand out very well. Let's just make it black. And we'll give it a little bit of box shadow too, make it stand out. 
or text shadow. Don't know. That might make it a little blurry. Let's leave that. Border there set to 50, which gives it the round. If you wanted to make them square, just put that to zero. And as you can see, it's made it square. But 50 is good. Nice round sort of pill shape. And let's go down. We'll put a bit of box shadow on the badge, just make it stand out a little bit. Text is fine, title text is fine. Text, I'm going to put everything to the middle. There we go, the button and everything is in the middle there. Not going to use any text shadow. Title text, let's bring that up just a little bit in size. Of course, you can change the color, you can do whatever you want. Okay, and subheading text which is our price let's change that to our our color we'll have to give it <laughs> a bit of a background shadow to make it stand out we'll make it a little bit bigger we may have to change this color i'm not sure if it's going to work or not yeah let's change this color let's go back to our badge Let's use the orange instead. And the text color white. There we go. Let's go back down to our. Uh, see, I'm not seeing my rounded corners. It'll probably take effect. When we save. Okay, and subheading, we want to just change that. Let's take that shadow off there we go that's legible and we'll make the button the same color as our little badge up there use custom styles for the button alignment wise well it's already ready where we want it button text color that wants to be white button background will make that orange when we hover over it let's turn it to green perhaps And do the same thing for the border. But when we hover over it, we want that to be green too. And we want to make it sort of pill shaped around the corners on it. I don't want an icon. You see when I hover over there, it's got a little icon. I'm going to turn that to off. Put a bit of text shadow on there just to make it stand out a bit more. And where's our button radius? Let's go up a little bit. I think I might have passed it. Button border radius. Here we are. I'm going to change that to 50 pixels to make it nice and round. And I think I want to make that button a little bit wider. So we'll add a bit of padding. Here's the padding. I just want to add it left and right. Let's say 40 pixels. And you just click the little chain. It'll put in the opposite for you. That'll do. And finally, we'll give it a little bit of box shadow. There it is. Now, for our actual card itself, I won't give it a border. I will give it a border radius of, say, 10 pixels. Just to give it little rounded corners there. Something like that. And let's finally just drop a bit of box shadow in there. Okay, let's save our changes. Save our page changes. Exit the visual builder. And there it is, you've got a nice card that links to a product the call to action button and a little badge up there great nice little feature of the Divi Supremes plugin and like I said earlier you can it comes in two versions a pro and a free version you can download either from my affiliate link below the video 
So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses for, with some huge reductions for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.